Hello, and welcome to the ProjectWise Administrator Advanced Accreditation Course on Advanced Workflows. In this group of lessons, we are learning how to prepare a data source to support an advanced workflow. In this lesson, we will learn how document attributes can track approvals during the design review process. You've already learned why and how to create a rules engine user and how to translate a business process into a ProjectWise workflow. Next, we will look at a ProjectWise environment to see if any changes need to be made to support the project team's design review process. Recall the project team's requirements for the design review process from the requirements workshop. Additional attributes need to be added to track approvals and add revision notes as required by items two and five. The changes we make to the environment will reflect these needs. Let's see how we could address the team's requirements with environment attributes. During the peer review, the first three attributes are used in the QAQC process section, namely designed by, drawn by, and checked by. When the peer review is complete, the checker approves the document. The submitted by field is populated with the name of the user that executed the action. When the cross-discipline review is complete, the checker approves the document. The approved by field is populated with the name of the user that executed the action. If a revision is necessary, the rejector enters a revised reject reason then rejects the document. All QAQC attributes are cleared except for the revision rejection attributes. In this example, Viadotis' teammate, Joan, recently used OpenRoads Designer to create a super elevation report. She used the report to create an Excel worksheet. Viadotis will do a peer review to check edge pavement elevations along Route 97. In this case, Viadotis clicks the spacebar in ProjectWise Explorer to view the document's attributes to see that Joan has finished the report, so he knows it's ready for his review. He then opens the file for the review. In this case, he will use Excel. He notices that Joan's initials and the design date are populated in the cells D9 and E9. The attributes have been exchanged from the ProjectWise attributes. Viadotis finishes his review and all the super elevation calculations are good. He opens the project wise document properties from in Excel, selects his initials in the checked by dropdown, then saves and closes the dialog. Finally, he updates the Excel document with project wise properties. He notices that his initials and the date are now populated in cells D10 and E10. Viadotis then closes and checks in the document after saving it. He is now ready to approve the document to finish the peer review. Again, he clicks the spacebar to open the document's properties. He then approves the document. After approving the document, he sees that his name and the date are populated in the submitted by fields. Viadotis notifies Mihaila that she can now review his work. Mihaila reviewed the Route 97 super elevation, and all seems well. She approves the document and verifies the approved by attribute is populated and the state changes to approved for the document. When doing her constructability review, Lizzie is made aware that the Ramp C corridor has been reworked. Therefore, the Route 97 super elevation also needs to be revised. Lizzie enters a reject reason, then rejects the document from the change state menu. A new version is created and is given a new major revision number. She notices that her name is added to the rejected by field. So how do we create these smart attributes? How do we get to the fancy dropdowns for the peer review attributes? And how about the updated values for the submitted, approved, and revise reject attributes. Well, for the peer review attributes, we will populate the dropdown with values 
in the lookup table named PW User Attributes. To update the submitted, approved, and revised rejection attributes, we will create update values using a few stored procedures that return appropriate values such as a date or a value from the lookup table named PW user attributes. We will have the attributes update only when the corresponding trigger value changes. When we configure the rules engine in the next lessons, we will set the trigger values when appropriate to force updates on the corresponding attributes. Congratulations! You have now had an overview on how document attributes can track approvals during the design review process. In the next lesson, you will review foundational concepts needed to configure document attributes that can track activity during the design review process. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.